Welcome back to Sussex Farm for episode 16 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's 5.52 in the morning. It's showing rain. Oh, I don't know when that's going to come and how much harvesting they'll get done. But as the thumbnail says, manure. I'm going to be looking a little bit of manure today, but I have bought a couple of bits of equipment. I have got one of the fill trigger um, Grimmy SL uh, 8022s, the Quantum. Um, I've also bought another tanker. My other one's a silvery grey. This one I've got for water, hence the blue. And I've got the one with the trailer attacher, which means I can attach it to other trailers or be towed by a tractor if I decide to. Um, I'm also going to sell the cramp trailer. The reason I went with this in the first place was because modded trailers wouldn't work down at the manure buy point. But now, because of the fuel trigger tools, they do. Oh, actually, you no, know, I've bought two of these, haven't I? I have, yes. There's one down at the... Uh, one down there already. Of course there is. I've bought some equipment up here that I'm going to need to use. Um, which one's going to be for what? I can't remember at the moment, but that doesn't matter either. Um, so, first thing I'm going to do is sell this. Sixty-two thousand. That's not too bad. And then I'm going to buy the BSM seventy thousand, which was what I was kind of originally intending on doing, but obviously it wouldn't work, so I didn't bother. Now the question is, colour-wise, do I go mad and you know, or do I stick with something sensible? No, no, I'm going to go mad. Oh, I don't know. I do that all the time, don't I? Let's go with... Let's get this right. I think it's main colour. Let's go with that one. We'll set up wide. Rim colour. Black. Design. Standard. Then design colour. Black. Hmm. Don't know which way around this is going to come out now, I can't remember. 70,000. So that's not much more than. Oh, okay. Scary stuff. Ah, oh, that's alright. That's not too bad. So I've got the right bit green, and otherwise it would have been all of that green and that black, and yeah. That doesn't look too bad. Now, this is going to be interesting because this should have a trailer hook on the back, like that, which means I can, with the Oshkosh, pull this with this attached to it. Now, um, my bales have gone and I've been paid. That's why I'm up to 524,000. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, the canola's gone. That went from the docks. That's why the trailer was up here and empty. So that's all sold. Um, what I need to do, the contract, I've been given a contract by um, Celie E.G., of all people. Um, and she's concerned about the livestock down at the livestock market and something I hadn't really thought of in light of the new sell points and things there um, I just remembered why I bought the tractor up here I'll get to that in a minute um, she said the animals at the livestock market that are waiting to be sold need water they also need pig food for the pigs and they also need hay, straw, whatever it might be so I've got to make some deliveries there apparently according to her water I'm going to do first I'm going to fill this up interestingly I'm going to fill this up with pig food <laughs> oh dear I hope I make money on this otherwise it's going to be a catastrophic failure the other thing I'm going to do is lease a muck spreader because I can buy manure and I've got a few fields now that need spreading ready for cultivating etc etc so first things first let's jump into the Oscosh this is all going to make sense in a minute I know at the moment I'm just rambling it's not really not really making a huge amount of sense at the moment. Let's open the cover. And hopefully. Actually, I won't attach the water tanker just yet. Now, there's a couple of ways we can do this. If I'm doing pig food, I can do it with a pig food silo. Um, or I could do it with pig food pallets, which is what I'm going to do. It's going to take a few to be fair, but it will work out cheaper buying pallets than it does to do it from the pig food silo. Actually, I'm going to do it from a tablet. My tablet. So, bear with me. This will make sense. 
uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. If I can count, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, fill trigger bucket, Maxi, six thousand litre. Actually, I can do it like that, kind of. Uh, and hopefully this works. Ah, now this will take. 11 loads, maybe just over 11 loads at 6,000 litres. Obviously you don't need to see me doing all 11,000 loads, that would be ridiculous. 11,000? 11 loads, not 11,000 loads. Now this is where this might get a little bit more tricky. And like I say, you don't need to see me doing all this. Oh, I really hope this works. This is all off the back of, hopefully, Um, this is off the back of the fill trigger mod working. So the fill trigger bucket, the fill trigger conveyor belt, the pig food, all loads into here, no problem at all. Then I can take it down and sell it. Like I say, this takes 70,000 litres. That's 6,000 to go, by my reckoning. 10 loads of the bucket will be 60,000 litres. Then another bucket will be 66, so 12 buckets really. So, I'm going to keep doing that. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And the next time you see me, if I've got this right, that lorry will be full. And then we can take some pig food and some water down. We'll worry about hay and whatever else at a later date. Now, some people commented, left me messages saying they've sold pig food and they made like 200,000 or whatever. I think that's uneasy. I can't see myself making that kind of money. This is going to be quite a big outlay, to be fair. 1,400 for each pallet. It's not going to be cheap to fill this. But I'm hoping, even if I make 20 grand or something, it's 20 grand for realistically loading a lorry. Which in real life is... A, Whoops, it's exactly what you'd be doing. You know, a transport company, they just get paid for haulage. You know, 20 grand's a lot of money for haulage, let's be honest, but um, yeah. it'll work, it'll work, it'll all be fine. And then what I will do is then get on with some more harvesting, but I've got to do the fields first. Right, which leads me on to the next thing. Uh, actually, I'm going to do this first. I've got too many things on the go at once. Right, I'll see you in a bit once this is full. Uh, we'll take that down and sell that. Then we'll get onto the manure. Obviously this is pig food and I did say manure. Bear with me, we will get some manure. If that's what you've been waiting for. If that's what you've come onto this episode for, manure. If that's your thing, don't worry, it's coming. See you in a bit. While this has been loading, I've been reading the paper. I got interviewed the other day. I've made the paper. I'm in the local rag. How cool is that? Um, about the uh, the devastation down at the port. The reason why the piers have gone and the freak storm we had. It's amazing stuff. Really, really cool. I'm glad they interviewed me. The local entrepreneur and raconteur. Absolutely. That's me all over. Let's see how far along we are. Don't want to get too many and have loads spare. 59. Okay, we're not far off. Not far off at all. Okay.
No, if my maths is right, that just cost me 98 grand. <coughs> 98,000. So, as long as I make back at least 98 grand, I haven't lost anything. And I've done a service. I've fed the animals at the livestock market, but, or the pigs anyway, not the animals. I do need to make some total mixed ration at some time, have a go at selling that there as well. But I need to be at a point where I've got enough of everything spare. Now let's see if I can hook this up. It's quite a long old vehicle, isn't it? Okay, right. Interesting. Let's see if the Oshkosh has got the legs. Should be alright. Kind of get around the roundabout though, that's the question. That is the only trouble with the 70,000. It's a big old trailer. Getting around to, oh, most of the roads actually, to be fair, on this map, I should be alright. sure about the bumpy right at the bottom whether I should just go down the hill I don't know if I'll be able to turn down the bottom will I? Ooh. I should have gone the long way around down the road and <coughs> this could prove interesting and potentially be disastrous I think the front end of the Oshkosh is just going to hang out over the ledge here look yep Blimey, okay, right. Well, no traction whatsoever, more power, nothing, right? Okay, ha -ha. bear with me. So, how did I get it to move? The correct use of force applied in the correct manner, in the perfect position, resulted in the necessary momentum. Basically I used a whacking great big fence to give it a shove. Now I haven't looked behind me, I'm assuming I've still got the water trailer behind me, because the moment things aren't quite going to plan, yeah it's still back there. Right, so. I was on about 500, and was it 524? So I don't know, something like that. So I've got to at least make that. So what I'll do is take it all in, I'll do the water on the way out, so I'll drop this off. This requires some power. The Oshkosh has got bags of it. So what I will just do is drop that off there. Every single time. Why, why did I drive so close to that? Yeah, see, I told you on the second one. That will be for loading with manure. I'll do that in a bit. Right, so, pig food. This is the test. Please let me make some money. Please. The fuel is being dealt with. Jim has up, uh, submitted an update to the update. So hopefully that will be sorted. Right. Fingers crossed. Come on now. Just what I go past five, two, four, I think it was. Looking good so far. Looking good. Oh yes. Yep, we made the money back. And some. Oh, I've got the thing set on the wrong thing again, haven't I? Could have unloaded that way quicker. Whoa, mama! Okay, well I've made a hundred thousand profit. And still going. <laughs> Whoa! 251,000. It cost me 98. So I've made about, what, 153,000? Oh man, I love the pig food. That was worth doing. That was absolutely worth doing. I mean, that's just a no-brainer. Right, okay, water. 
Um, so that'd be those two added. Nice. Um, somebody said to me, wouldn't it be nice if there was a water point, point up at the livestock market um, and then you could sort of simulate feeding and watering animals? Well, it would silly G said the same thing to me. And I said, mm, I'm pretty sure there already is. It's just here by the wall. And I've just realised I've come way too tight. Uh, way too tight, way too wide. It doesn't like that trailer very much, does it? Which is just here, I believe. Right there. Let's add some more to that, shall we? Considering the water was free. Oh, it's payday. It's payday. 24,000. Nice. Right, the water container. I can go to the side here. Just for the time being. I'll click that again later on. What I'm going to do now is grab the trailer. Fill up with manure. We'll do the first of the manure tasks I was going to do. Then we'll move on to the second of the manure tasks. Oh no, I too quickly. Turn the wheels first. There we go. So now, because this is a modded trailer, it wouldn't normally work. If you watch my video on the fill trigger tools, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, watch it. It's worth watching anyway. Just because it's one of my videos, I mean, you know. Got to be worth a watch, isn't it? Right. Put that there. Jump in that. And then goes L3. L3. Oop, up oh, in your pile. Didn't mean to do that. We're on our filling. Jump back in that. This may take a while. Be interesting to see how much this costs, actually. Just out of curiosity. Can't believe I went up to the store with 524. Did I have 524? I'm sure I did, yes, when I started to buy. I was 530 something, wasn't I? That's right. Sold the trailer, bought the new trailer. The difference is about 10 grand. Took me down to 534, uh, 524. There we go. Yeah. It does make sense somewhere. Somewhere along the line. Right, so this is going to take ages. Again, bear with me while this fills up. Um, I'll see you in the blink of an eye when it's all done. And there you go. As easy as that. 70,000 litres. That took a while. How much did it cost, though? Uh... Did it come up? Did I miss that? Could have been a lot. I was on 702,000 something. And it says 701. So again, there have only been under 2,000. Right. Manure. Let's deliver this. Now, I took a load of manure down to the docks for Farm McKinnon um, as part of a contract. This isn't going to Farm McKinnon. This is for my own benefit. I seem to at the moment... And I have had, there have been a couple of comments about, you know, where's the farming? This is all part of farming, I'm doing, you know, I've been doing my harvesting, I've, uh, I've got my animals, I'm looking after them, this is deliveries and helping out in the community and that kind of stuff. I'm trying to make money for the farm so I can buy more machinery. I've been offered a deal on some sugarcane equipment, which I may well, uh, may well do. It's a complicated one, but I might well do it. Just trying to get bogged down if I can. I've got to watch my speed limits. Oh, hang on. Oh. Mm -hmm. Nothing to see here, officer. So, where am I heading? I could cut through CG Bakery, but it's a bit, you know, a bit naughty. I'm going to cut across the grass fields, though. Down Seely Lane, of course, why not? If I was a street named after me in real life, I'd be standing in front of the sign the whole time. Just pointing at it and smiling.
So we are heading to the BGA. I have changed the tipping thing as well. It was on Grain Door. It's because it was a new trailer. It always seems to come standard on Grain Door. And if you want it on full open, you have to put it on tip side right. Although it's still tip side back. I don't know why it does that. But So, at the biogas plant. Because you can tip into the, uh, the silo here, which is an absolute... Oh, it's brilliant. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jim. Hello. Now, if I tip manure in here... Like so. Making a little bit of money in the process. Just let that whiz away. Now, while it's doing that, if we whiz over here to our digestate tank, that's not bad. Not a huge amount, but not a problem. I still haven't emptied it. It only cost me under 2,000 to buy, and I've just made 4,000 something. So I've made a little bit of money selling it, a tiny bit. But the beauty of it is this. Now, the digestate fill level is now going up. Now, I had some in here already, to be fair. Um, but what will happen is, interestingly, with the manure, however much manure you put in here, you will get the same amount in digestate. So that 70,000 litres should transfer into 70,000 litres, 70,000 litres of digestate. Not bad. I can use that for my fields if I want to. Here's the other cool thing about this map. If you go over to, would help if I actually press the right thing, the map would be better. Uh, if we go over to runny, slurry and smelly manure, down here, when it's the digestate is done, you take the digestate over here to the sell point and you can sell the digestate and make money. So it's a kind of, you know, an all round operation. We're swapping one thing for something else, and something for something else, and we're selling water, and we're oh, just, just fantastic. Loving it. So, hopefully we can take the last of this in. Alright, still got more. I think 50,000 is the limit, isn't it? In these tanks. I'm sure it's 50,000. Just up against the wall. I might be a bit impatient. Have you noticed? I've only got 6,000 to get rid of. So once that's fully digest... digestated... Di no, that was... that's not the word. <sighs> digested? Blimey. I can click... collect the digestate. And I can take it and sell it. If not, I've got... Uh, not free... well I suppose it is free, isn't it? I buy the manure. Dirt cheap. Sell it here. Make a little bit of money on it free digestate. That goes in the fields. At 70,000 litres a time, you can make enough slurry to do all your fields really, really inexpensively. You need a pretty good slurry spreader, and it's a bit of going backwards and forwards with it, but you can do it. Anyway, right, so that's the first of the manure jobs done. Now, on to the next one. I'm trying to think where to go with this because I don't need this at the moment. So, maybe back to the farm, although I'm just thinking now this is probably too long to go under that, that uh, under the shelter. Oh, I'll find a home for it. Sure, I will. Right, I'm going to see you back at the store in a minute for the next of the manure tasks
Oh, I'll tell you what I could have done. I could have done a whole round trip thing, couldn't I? Actually, I'm going to back this up and leave it here. Because this is a manure episode, or I'm going to turn around in, the, in my brewery. Um, I could have gone and got some grass or hay or something, couldn't I? And taken that over to the livestock market as well. For the cows and the sheep. There's still that collision there. There's an invisible collision somewhere in there. Can I get around to this? Anyway, yeah, ignore me. Um, I will see you up at the store in a moment. Just come on, please. Right. Ignore me. Oh, see you in a minute. So, as I said, back up the store. And this is the task I was intending to do in this episode. The other two bits are kind of peripheral. Back to the farming. Okay, here we go. So... I've never done this before, I mean I've done this before but not with this piece of equipment. Um, I've done muck spreading but only on a very small scale. This is the first map where you've been able to buy manure. I know on PC you've been able to do it for a while, there have been manure points and all sorts of stuff on various different maps. But this is the first one I've played on on console where you've been able to buy manure. So up until now you've had to wait until you've got enough manure built up from your animals to then be able to actually do muck spreading. Problem with that is it goes down very very quickly and you know you run out very very quickly so the whole thing the point about what i'm talking about is this bad boy here the brocard i think it's brocard brocard the ev 2200-120 wr bit of a mouthful from the big bud pack this is a 70,000 liter muck spreader i've never used it because i've never had that amount of manure available at any point to actually do it now I'm going to lease it. It's expensive to lease, but I've just made a ton of money doing that. So, to be fair, it's not too much of a problem. I'm not going to buy it at the moment because I don't know how it's going to work. If it's going to work, we'll see how that all pans out. Now, this requires 500 horsepower. That's 517 or 515, something like that. I don't think have enough oomph. I've got wheel weights and I've got a front weight. That's still a big beast. The other thing I don't know is whether or not it will fill up from the manure point because technically it's a DLC so it's it's technically it's an in-game vehicle but technically it's a mod because it was kind of a DLC pack I don't know it's a massive bit of kit isn't it anyway all I can do is give it a go I've got fields to spread and if it doesn't go down too fast I might be able to get more than one field done with one load but realistically when you think of how much it costs to buy the manure it really isn't too much of a problem that is massive that's a crazy bit of kit but I seem to have lost my mind on Sussex all the excitement of the fill trigger mod the other day <laughs> sent me a bit doolally I think nothing wrong with that every now and again Like I say, I think it's more opportunity than anything else. Um, on this map, with various different mods that have come out, with the things that are available to do, the, the, the sort of variation in job choices and delivery things and buying of grass and straw and hay and um, uh, manure and pig food and, you know, well not pig food, you can buy pig food anyway, you know what I mean, but the selling of it and all that kind of stuff. It's opened up a whole load of new avenues of uh, of exploration of the game, if you will. That went better than I thought. Okay. Cool. That this doesn't take as long to fill up as the other one did. I might do. Right. Gonna need a bigger boat. So, oh, actually, it doesn't matter anymore, does it? Because it's I've got that anyway. The fill trigger thing. I wonder if I'm, I'm going to move the fill trigger conveyor belt because I'm curious now. Start the engine. Put wrong way. Let's pull that out of the trigger. Oh yeah, 1,644 that last load cost me. Plus there's some on the belt, so not even that much actually. 
Let's see if this will fill up. I need to pick up the manure from the ground. Right, L3. Oh yes, it does. Oh nice, okay. What's that sound? Sounds like making popcorn. Very weird. That does seem to be filling up a lot quicker. Okay, well, I'll do the same again anyway. Bear with me. Once that's filled up, filled up I'm going to stop. So I just stop talking. Where's the fun in that? Of course I'm going to keep talking. Um, yeah, anyway. Right, once that's full. Okay. 70,000 litres. 1,616. That's incredible. So, oh, this seems to be struggling a bit. And that's had to fill 11. I'll get a bit of speed up, just enough to get over this little hill. And a few people have told me the fence is one of those mods that seems to be causing issues on this map. Now, to be fair, since I turned off seasons, I haven't really had any major issues. Um, I know since update 2, when I've been speaking to Jim, Jim suggested maybe putting seasons back on and trying it again. The only downside with doing that is going to reset everything. So, I don't know whether to or not. Right, now, let's see, I don't know the width of this, so 15 metres. How wide is that? So I gauge that as about there. Fingers crossed then, shall we? She's oh, 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 oh. a beast. Look at that go. <laughs> Love it. Look at it. Now, it's gone a bit funny at the edge only because I just didn't do a very good job of ploughing that side of it. Let's stop the edge, just going to get there. That's incredible. Uh, how do I do this right? Indeed. So maybe if I can just a little bit further. Let's try it here. So we've got a gate in the back. Oh no. Oh okay. Fair enough. To be fair, considering the size of the field and the 15 metre spread, that's not using as much as I thought it was going to. I really did think it would use more than that. Not bad. It might take 70,000 
to do a whole field. I'll probably take more than that actually, but it's still really cheap. It's going to take a little while to fill it up, admittedly, each time, but I like it. I don't do muck spreading very often, like I say. And when I do, I do it in very small quantities because I don't have enough muck to spread. So, you know what? This is pretty cool. I'm enjoying this. I need more muck spreaders in my life. The only downside is it's got a rather large turning circle. There you have it. The whole of Field 11, with its extension, took under 40,000 litres, 38,000 litres. Still got 32,500 left. No, 32,000. Yeah. 531, just a little corner here. There we go. And on to the next one. I'm pretty sure field 26 is smaller than this. That's not bad at all. I like this. I like this a lot. Why have I, I said so why have I never used it before? I know why I've never used it. I explained why I've never used it before. So many new things I've done on this map. Thank you, Jim. So I want to field 26 and hoping, hoping this is going to be enough to do this field. It's not a particularly big one, so it should be all right. Got a bit of room for turning either end, not a huge amount. But right and not quite actually that's not too bad I think the one that's going to be the real test is taking a full 70,000 litres over to field 20 and uh, manure spreading on the half of the field I've taken the barley off of 
I wonder if it's enough to do that half of the field. If it is, then I'm buying one of these. I'm going to get one. Every time I need to do my start of my season, getting the fields ready, this is a no-brainer. It's a brilliant bit of kit. But I know if I do, you know, like tomorrow, do another load of pig food maybe down to the... Because I don't want to do another one now and then find I make a massive loss. You know, it's that big gamble. Um, I can make the money back on this if I do a load of runs of water around the map. Um, I'm not going to do fuel. Like I say, Jim's got an update to the update coming out and the fuel situation should have been adjusted. Oh, four miles now, that's slow right now. Um, if that does get adjusted... Now, I, I'm, when I deliver the fuel, any of these, I think people want a quick fix. They want a quick, let's make a ton of money really fast. I'm not, I'm not bothered about that. If I'm doing a delivery service, I expect it to be, you know, a smallish amount. Enough to make it worthwhile, but not so stupidly, you know, a massive amount that you think, well, there's no point farming. But I suppose when you look at it like that, if you're going to cheat, you're going to cheat, aren't you? If you're going to use cheap boxes, then you're going to use cheap boxes. So, I suppose it comes down to what anyone wants to do when they play the game. But anyway, that said, 26,000 litres, oh, I don't know. It seemed to go really well in the last build. And this one, it seems to be dropping a bit quicker. Anyway, we come to the end of another episode. Manure. Sorted. Bit of pig food. Made some money. Doing all right. I hope to see you on the next one. And I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. And whatever you should choose to do, Thanks for watching.